time in our country's history, the steps of the Legislative Assembly served as the site of the swearing-in of newly elected MLAs and cabinet members. I, William McKeever Bush, do solemnly and sincerely affirm and declare that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, according to the law. I think it's important for young people to come out and witness part of this event because they're basically Hi. in charge of our futures and we need to know what they're about. This is a very special historical event and later days we will be a part of it or we will be in it. We have a very dynamic speaker that has a wealth of knowledge about the political affairs of the country and historical background. We have a cabinet that is able, capable and willing now to move forward and has that responsibility. And there are a tremendous amount of issues challenging us. But if we move forward with the resoluteness that, that we can and we have been used to over the years and it has been passed on to us from our forefathers, challenges will come. But we can deal with them. People have to have patience. We ourselves are going to need the patience of Joe. But um, the country can have to be patient as we get a grip on the affairs of the state. And I believe we can move forward and bring it into an even more prosperous country than we are today. The first thing that I need to do is I need to understand where the schools are at. And, and the government is going to have to make some decisions on the way forward. We've committed to the country to complete the schools, but of course we need to ensure we're getting value. We're changing the education law immediately to install a truant officer. The government is going to hold itself accountable for keeping children in school. We're also going to focus on early childhood development. We understand that that's a weakness. We're going to ensure that the grades of our students in terms of overall performance will be released to the public. We're also going to revamp the scholarship program to ensure that we have it completely computerized, that we're keeping track of all of our students, and we're going to try over this summer to try to get every single student that's on scholarship matched up with a future employer so that Caymanian students, when they come back, are not out hunting jobs. We're going to stop the madness as it relates to students being passed through the system. We are not going to allow students who are functionally illiterate to be graduating from high school. That cannot continue to happen. Now, we do know that there will be people with special challenges and we're going to work to ensure that, that the needs of them are met so that they too can become productive citizens. And of course, the big issue is technical vocational training. We are going to take a hard look at how we're going to sensibly implement a program that will still in students a learning environment that allow them to really take up their, their rightful place in society, especially in tourism. And, and in the technical fields such as mechanics um, and, and heavy equipment operators. Um, we talked about the Skills Today Jobs Tomorrow program, which is going to be a, a, a national training initiative that we hope to collaborate with the Chamber of Commerce and other um, private sector associations to ensure that the labor market is as trained as possible so that there is good in employees as possible. We have, we have from day one, I've called upon them to work together, to put aside hard feelings, put, uh, put aside the hate and divisiveness that has pervaded us for the last five years, and let's get everyone working here. That's the only way the country can work if all of us are working together. And as I said, so much so that I intend to create an island council that it'll take people from every district, and that will be foreigner and Caymanians, like when I said foreigner, expatriate Caymanians, um, those who are in um, permanent residence and status um, because there's a tremendous wealth of expertise out there that we must tap into to help turn around this country and I want my people to understand that uh, we will be utilizing both sides, Caymanians and as I said expatriate Caymanians but uh, because we're all one and we all want the good for the country. The newly elected government says they aren't wasting any time moving forward. Their next stop meeting with heads of ministries and industries such as tourism.